this is just a quick update to the video I posted recently on this uh, flat CRT monitor that I purchased and um, I went through and just basically demonstrated it in the previous video, hooked it up to the uh, ZX81 and just ran a very simple program. Uh, this is just uh, to highlight a few uh, modifications I've made to this. Very, they were very minor. Um, firstly somebody commented that one of the caps looked to be bulging uh, it's actually not, it does look that way, but it's just uh, because of the way the light's reflecting off it, but uh, there are no bulging caps. And uh, I wasn't too happy with the uh, the way the image was on the screen. It wasn't too bad, but it had a bit of distortion, uh, and also the uh, contrast wasn't very good. Now, I, as you can see, I've put some pots on the uh, controls. I will be making a small cover for this and putting the pots on the front and then I will also probably add a battery to this to make it uh, battery powered. Um, but I just wanted to highlight the modifications I've made so far, which as I say are very minor. Uh, really it comes down to a few small adjustments. The uh, real one is the, uh, the image was uh, tilted, it uh, was sloping down towards the right, and there isn't a, a tilt control part. It's all done through the uh, the physical alignment of the scan coils and they were kind of um, gummed in place a couple of um, blobs of some sort of adhesive so I took that off uh, very carefully of course and then what you can do is slacken off the screw down here very carefully rotate the scan coils and that will uh, square up the um, display. There's also a lot of distortion and um, that really came down to um, readjusting the pots uh, and also these um, deflection correction magnet rings down at the bottom here. There are two, they, again they were kind of um, glued in place, you've got to very carefully remove the glue, being very careful of course the neck is very fragile and uh, once I've got those off I could uh, readjust it. Kind of typical Chinese thing, it's um, made reasonably well but um, thrown together, together very quickly um, they don't get paid much so there's no incentive for them to put a lot of time and effort into making adjustments but that's not to say that you can't spend time readjusting it once you get it. Um, so I've made these adjustments and the image is now much better. I also uh, checked the uh, basically all the settings of all the parts to make sure that the uh, the contrast and brightness were optimized as much as they could be and then I put a small filter on the uh, input. It's just really a small ferrite core that's sitting on the pin that the video goes into. And it was too, um, I was getting a lot of kind of overscan um, or overshoot on the signal and it was causing a white band down one side of all the characters. So I got rid of that and it looked much better now. So I'll move the camera in. I've entered a, a short program into the ZX81 and uh, you'll have a look at the, um, the image. It's not gonna come across very well on the camera, unfortunately, it's just the nature of trying to film uh, CRT images with a digital camera, but uh, hopefully you'll be able to see enough that uh, you can see it is an improvement and that uh, you can get fairly good images on these monitors. Okay, so as ever, apologies for the uh, flickering on the display, but if we now try and run our short program, you can see we're getting a nice square display, nice straight edges, so square across the top, and uh, good contrast and brightness. The brightness is now turned only about halfway up, so, um, as you can see there's plenty of brightness to spare. There is a brightness preset as well which I didn't need to adjust but um, as you can see the display is quite nice and bright. Good contrast and uh, as I said before this will make now quite a, a nice um, addition to the, the lab. It's going to be very useful for uh, fault finding and testing uh, any devices that need a CRT. I will of course be rebonding the scan coils once I'm happy that I've got it in the right location but it seems to be fairly close now and uh, you can get as you can see extremely good images on these small monitors.